Hey folks, it's Andrew from Gamba Red, and today we're going to take a look at if you can get pulse light therapy from a flashing screen, from a, a YouTube video screen here. And, um, you know, the concept is that they're going to be flashing these these screens, um, you know, just a little bit of a flicker warning if you are uh, sensitive to flicker, but uh, we should be far enough away uh, the way I have the camera set up that it's not taking up your whole field of vi vision. But uh, if you get distressed by flickering and flashing images, uh, then you shouldn't watch this video. But the promise is, is that they're, they're pulsing at certain frequencies, like 40 hertz, or 10 hertz, those correlate with certain brain wave uh, frequencies, like 10 hertz is alpha and 40 hertz is delta. And then, you know, there, there are studies that show that just flashing lights, getting that into the eyes where your brain will start to entrain with, with the flashing lights of your eyes. If you're watching TV um, and t television sets, you know, especially the old ones used to have a certain uh, flicker frequency and, and rastering with, uh, you know, the cathode ray tubes that humans do align their their brain waves with uh lights and with the sounds of what they flash so sometimes there's binaural beats and that's with uh sound frequencies that can impact the brain and also there's there's these flashing light studies and then you know with red light therapy they caught on and they started saying oh you should sh shove you know flashing leds up your nose or in your ears or all these other places and put it on your head but but the primary way you can you can do this um is is with through the eyes it's flashing looking at some sort of light uh that's that's flashing at 40 hertz it doesn't need to be high powered it doesn't need to be um red light you know so i'm i'm in agreement with the concept of these these flashing um uh videos but like all things we need to check and make sure are they actually flickering or flashing at the correct frequency so we've got this 40 hertz one it's got um it's titled 40 hertz per second flashing alzheimer's disease light therapy um it's got almost thirty six thousand views so that you know i mean the worst thing that could happen is that you know people get a false sense of security um they think they're getting 40 hertz but it's some other hertz they don't get the benefits that they were looking for or you know sometimes if you flash the wrong frequency to people then that can be, you know, bad, bad for, you know, you, I mean, if you have the wrong frequency, then we don't know what, what, what frequencies are, are all good and which ones are all bad. So, you know, we have a general sense that 40 Hertz is pretty good for you. Uh, but what if you're, you're way off? So we've got our, our flicker meters, we've got a Radex Lupin, a uh, nice little flicker meter. And then we've got a more professional grade, uh, Viso brand that we've got the software on the right side for both of these tools and uh you know i'm gonna i'll get this start started it's got some sound bites to it maybe i'll disable the sound in case there's a a copyright with the the sound so no sound um so we'll just look at the flashing and uh we'll get that going and you know i noticed this screen sometimes like was faster or slower you can see it blinking you know what and sometimes I think people feel energized from flashing lights. That might just be the stress response. And some people, oh yeah, I really feel you know, more energy, more lucid. You know, you, you get a little stress response from uh, flickering lights. That's why I avoid them. Um, so anyway, so we can put our sensor, I put it right on the screen so you, you don't get any stray lights. And I put this on and we'll try to zoom in on the data you can see the data uh the frequencies numbers is what's key there is the 6 12 18 24 it's all you know usually multiples of six so that means the key kind of frequencies is is six or twelve um those are the primary frequencies that we're measuring so um doesn't appear to be 40 so uh you know that's that's kind of a bad a bad sign well and now let's use the more professional grade one the viso and it, it says it does, it's not enough light but it still takes a measurement so it puts an x on the screen because it says it's not enough light but it corroborates what the uh, radix lupin says it's about 12 hertz frequency so obviously it's not 40. Uh, we can measure it again just to make sure Yeah, it's still, you know, 11.9, so about 12 hertz frequency. So, uh, you know, you're not getting the right frequency from this flashing. There are a lot of comments that people say they enjoy 
uh, all this flashing and they, they you know like i said they got a burst of energy or something or whatever maybe 12 hertz is, is fine but um it's not you know it's not the right frequency you know there's a lot of complications with you you creating a screen and making sure it's the right flashing and then you know different computers or monitors or televisions might have different uh refresh rates and and how that syncs up might also be part of the problem here i've got another page that's a 10 hertz it's just it's for like a stroboscope blitzer you know if you're like trying to throw a rave party this is a 10 hertz it's much more dramatic so so you know again watch your eyes if you're uh sensitive to flicker um but this is 10 hertz so it's going to be much more dramatic it's going to be much more uh, uh you'll it's more visible because it's only 10 flashes per second and they're using higher contrast of fully um black and white but this time you know i do get with the radix lupin uh, we are getting that we are getting that 10 Hertz frequency so if, if you want 10 Hertz frequency this does appear to be working it's you know, like I said it's more if you're trying to maybe throw a little rave party but uh, we'll do the viso and it does you know it doesn't like there's not enough brightness but it still says 10 Hertz so uh, you know, I, I'm pretty confident that this is actually 10 hertz. And like I said, maybe different screens or monitors could vary with, with the output. But um, if you want a 10 hertz, it's like an alpha uh, frequency. Um, this could be an option to, to experiment with. Uh, again, saving a lot of money with... Um, you know <laughs> buying all these lights that claim to have all these extra pulse features that they haven't really proven out and like i said a lot of the studies are based on on delivering it more through the optic nerve through the eye and and your brain synchronizes with the light you don't need to uh you know <laughs> shove diodes into your brain or try to do it transcranially with super high intensity lasers or whatnot um you know this this could be an option but again take caution with uh you know if people are sensitive to to flicker and and different types of uh distress or epilepsy or or whatnot so hopefully this helps you know unfortunately the and and this one's got forty thousand views so people like throwing rave parties with it uh you know unfortunately the 40 hertz one did not work out i couldn't find any other videos that that uh really attempted to do this um, so, you know, hopefully that helps and we can debunk a couple things and, and maybe people can go back and try to make uh, better flashing screens for you. Thanks for tuning in.